Might as well just do a quick tour of the house. So this is my first junk room. Yeah, this is my wardrobe room. All my jackets and that in here. There we go. Bag of jackets and that. Bear Gucci and Balenciaga, you know. My second junk room, this is where I hang up all my laundry and that. Obviously, more Balenciagas and that, come on. What can I say? Bathroom. Hey, that toilet flush is still not fixed, you know. My bedroom here. Got my diffuser. So basically you put essential oils in it, turn it on, and steam comes out. And it makes the place smell nice. So right now I've got lemongrass in there, so it's got a lemony smell. Get me, come on fam, I've got to represent. You really know what man's dealing with, what happened to you dog? Hallway, downstairs. Kitchen, changing this kitchen soon as well. Gonna get like white gloss to match the floor for the kitchen units. So this kitchen's been in there, well, I've had the house four years, probably six, seven, eight years. Dining room. And the infamous empty living room. Done now, come on man. Anyway, before I go, let me give you a quick tour of what I've done so far. So I fitted these spotlights in the ceiling, painted the walls with the help of Nadia. Raised the socket in that corner over there. Installed two sockets in that corner there. Gave the walls one coat of paint. Needs another coat. This is the kitchen. The floor's been tiled. As you can see here. But I've covered over the floor because obviously I don't want the floor to get damaged or anything like that. The floor's also been tiled down there as well, with the same colour tiles as in the kitchen. But I've covered the floor so I don't want it to get damaged. Up here is the loft. This is where I make some of my videos when I come up to the flat. Bathroom, I'm gonna retile the whole bathroom, the walls and the floor. I'm gonna change the bathtub. Uh, I shouldn't need to change the toilet though, it should be alright. Yeah, that's about it for now. So imagine, I showed you my three bed house earlier. I just showed you my one bed flat just now. If you be following me a while, you will know, say, that I own a studio flat in Egypt. Now certain times, certain Instagram pages promote my thing. Shout out a man like Mr. Blue. Go and check out Blue Channel's Instagram page. And you know, even one time, Bobby Kasanga shared my thing when I was talking about properties. The other day, Blue Channel shared one of my videos when I was talking about buying a Rolex is a dumb idea when you can put down on a house. Some idiot put down in the comment section below because you have to remember when a man talks about this property thing I get bare pushback from people in it someone said oh social media is a facade so you're basically saying that I'm lying that I've got 
and his properties and that. Some people think, oh yeah, it's just a hater. It's not just hate. When someone don't believe that someone can own two or three properties at a young age, that's a reflection on themselves. They don't believe that they could do it, so how could someone else do it? Imagine this. Imagine I said to Alan Sugar, you know who Alan Sugar is, isn't it? Multi-billionaire. If I said to Alan Sugar, yeah, in the next five or six years time, I'm gonna have 10 properties to my name. He would say, yeah, do you know why? Because he's a successful man, he's got money, he knows it can be done. He's done it, or at least done the equivalent of it. But someone who is not on the right path, someone who's not striving for success and greatness, they can't see it. Because they can't see themselves doing this. How can they see someone else doing that? This is like certain people, back in the day, they see people driving Mercedes and they're like, how can they afford that? Like, what are they doing? They're doing something dodgy. They look at their bank account, they look at their salary, and they're like, well, boy, I can't afford to drive a, a car like that. So how can someone else? So when you get hate online, it's not just as simple as, oh, that person's a hate or whatever, and it. No, 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 no. Certain times, the reason why people hate, the reason why people try and put down what you're trying to push out there, the narrative you're trying to push out there, is because they can't see it themselves. That's why they don't think it's possible. Yeah, don't get it twisted. These are properties up in Northampton. They're a third of London prices. But it's better to have three properties, or at least two properties, or at least one property, than have no properties at all. Living in your mother's yard, on the first floor, in a box room. So, yeah, man. This is the narrative I like to push out here, isn't it? Yeah? You can be a black man, or a black woman. You can go to jail. You can mess your life up. You can get a skill, get a trade, turn your life around and get on the right path to success.